for me and my husband, giving is a way of life. We were taught since early childhood by our families to listen to what others need, to what are their sufferings, and try to give. And this was not because we were wealthy. I was born in Romania in a poor family of Holocaust survivors. He was born in a kibbutz in Israel, and his mother was a Holocaust survivor. But our families always gave not only money, everything they, they did. So giving for us is a way of life. And it was obvious for us when we got into big money that we have to allocate a major part of our assets to giving back to society. So in 2001, we established the program called La Merchav, which takes care of young adults without family support who have inner possibility, inner capabilities and inner potential, but because of external circumstances and hardships, and because they don't have a family who can support them, they cannot fulfill their potential, and they are doomed to a life of survival only. And La Merchav helps them realize their potential and become contributing citizens, independent citizens, like you and me. We are doing it since then. I am very involved in this on an everyday basis. And this is easy. This is what I love to do. So giving is easy. But talking about giving, no, no. This is a big no, no. <laughs> Give, talking about giving, it's like, oh, wow, what about our privacy? And uh, I don't want to brag. I don't want to show off. So why should I talk about giving? So maybe it's better to abide by the Rambam's saying of Matan Beseter, giving quietly. And this is what we did. And then one day, I met Ellie. Ellie was at the time 26 years old, young, young man. He was orphaned by both parents when he was four. And he was raised up by his grandmother in Israel in a very difficult neighborhood. And now he came to meet me. He, was already, he had already his first degree in computers. He was in La Mercha for eight years, and he was meeting me to celebrate his graduation from La Mercha. So we sat one opposite the other, and it, for me it was such a joy because you see, He's, he was so pleasant to look at. He had curly hair, he had vivid eyes dancing with a twinkle in, in, in the eyes. He, he had a big smile and, you know, I just loved him. And he told me, you know, Shula, I want to tell you what I got from La Merchav in those uh, eight years that I've been here. When I first came to La Merchav, my future seemed bleak. My uh, life was uneventful. I didn't know to where it will go. And the world, the world was a bad place to be in. And if somebody would have um, come to me and would have said, please help me, ask for my help, I would look at him and say, are you Michiganer? What do you want from me? I won't help anyone because no one ever helped me. But then I came to La Merchav and I met so many people who wanted to help me helped me and they did. And not only this, they saw me, they listened to me, and they gave me a hand. And I understood that the world can be a good world. And that people, those people, are making the world good. And I wanted to belong to them, to be with them, to make the world good. And you know, Shula, I have this rare type of blood, O negative. So I get phone calls in the middle of the night from the blood bank, and they are asking me to come quickly and donate my blood. And I don't ask for whom it is. I don't care if it's a man, it's a woman, it's relig uh, religious or non-religious, if it's an Arab or a Jew, I just get dressed quickly, leave my sleeping family at home, hop in into my car, and I go to give them my blood. Wow, I got goosebumps then, and I get goosebumps now when I talk about it. What an inspiration. 
So then I thought that he taught me something, that by talking about his giving, he gave me inspiration, and that I, by not talking about my giving, I am missing an opportunity to inspire others, to make others join the circle of giving and together to make a better world. So as I said, giving for us is easy. Talking about it, it's not easy. But nevertheless, I overcome I overcame my fears. I overcome them now also. <laughs> I overcame my, my fears. And I thought that having money, but putting it to good use for the benefits of others is no shame, is no embarrassment. And talking about it is not bragging, is not showing off. It's just giving the others the opportunity to be inspired and do the same and give more. So thank you for listening to me and for enabling me to overcome once again my fears of talking about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>